Yeah, this is a, a power gear from a Husqvarna 2000 series. Uh, pretty much if you grasp it, there's this little wheel on your right hand side of your machine and pull it outwards, the machine will sew only a fifth of the usual speed, still preserving your full power of your motor. And at this low speed, um, it's got a major advantage if you want to, for example, do blind stitching or any kind of slower kind, kind of sewing and maybe even going through thicker material, you can sew it and it will, yeah, it will just slow much so and you have much more control. I can just turn it to the side and show you how it actually works. So if you pull it out, this gear will engage, disengage and this will run freely and your machine belt will actually drive the machine from there giving it much more speed and if you pull it out this gear will run out clip in and then it will actually run from through the gears and you'll see this little gear is turning much slower and driving your your belt at a much slower speed uh, that's how it's controlled um, this system can fail um, what I've noticed in the past what happens over time this little shaft can get dry and when you pull this back it won't slip back in again and the other thing that I found is that when it's pushed in your little clip for your that engages your your bobbin doesn't work anymore doesn't shoot back it could be stiff and full of grime and then it just when it's locked in locked in like that you can actually turn this little wheel and it will only lock in and work on your motor once you release that little clip so now, now it's clipped in again now it will work but this can get dirty so if you hold that in then this runs freely and it can't drive your machine sewing machine so this can get sticky so it just needs a good clean um, normally you can just you know work a little bit of oil in from this side uh, because obviously you won't open your machine but sometimes you might just have to really really get in there and the same will go for this little gear that slides in and out oops too much oil uh, so you can give it some oil uh, yeah just give it a good clean and that's okay if you pull it out and that should just clip in much easier and then that's how you, how you, how you the, the little mechanism works um, yeah the other thing sometimes what happens if the bracket where the, the motor actually fits on it gets old and it actually starts this little wheel sometimes start grinding against the frame of the machine or the actual outer body and then you'll actually have to reset all the brackets and make sure they're all nice and tight and they all yeah, set up well because that can actually cause quite a bit of a friction sound. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much all about that. And the other thing that you should maybe notice and it's, is this motor's got a capacitor as well, yeah? It's also an interference capacitor that can blow sometimes and your machine will come out of a big gust of smoke. Um, yeah, it's not a serious thing. you just got to probably just replace it if it does blow. Um, but that doesn't actually happen often. It's more the one in the foot control that can blow, or the one on the actual power terminal. Uh, yeah, I hope that helps someone.